So this right here, what I'm about to bring to you is a bit unexpected to me, and I didn't know this was actually something going on. So in this picture, of course, you know on the right, that is Will Smith. Don't have to go into a narrative about him. But on the left, that is none other than Richard Williams, also known as the father to Venus and Serena Williams. Right now, Will Smith is currently filming a movie and it's like a biopic and it's called King Richard, which is basically telling the story of Richard Williams from his point of view of him uh, helping to raise his daughters, Venus and Serena Williams, to come, to, you know, to polish and groom them into becoming what we would now know as probably two of the best tennis players of all time, despite how we feel about their personal decisions and their personal life. At the end of the day, what they've accomplished in the sport of tennis can never be taken away from them. Now, when I saw I'm on this page right now on Instagram and it's called entertain entertainment takeover. And I was reading through some of the comments and I have to tell you, there are a lot of and I'm it should surprise no one. Most of these negative comments that I've been reading came from black women. And I'm going to read to you what some of them say. It's not even a lot of comments on the page. And this post was made three days ago. But um, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the caption that goes along with the um, picture. It says, first look, Will Smith was seen filming for the first time with his on-screen daughters who are portraying tennis superstars Venus and Serena Williams. Will is playing the girl's father in the biopic King Richard. The film is set for a November release date. I smell an Oscar contender. This is very interesting to tell the story from his point of view because they could have easily made the movie about just about his daughters. Even though they're going to play an intricate role, of course, into the movie because they have to. I mean, it it works. Someone said, aesthetically, Idris would have been better suited for the role. But And someone actually left a comment underneath this person's comment and said exactly what I was going to what I would have said. So they said, too many of them English folks have been taking American roles. Idris Elba, John Boyega, Daniel Kaluuya, Chiwetel Ejiofor, for less higher actors that actually care about black America. And higher actors to portray these characters that are from here. Because it's like a lot of times we constantly get actors from overseas to portray the actors that are from here. I didn't mean to say um, actors from here. I meant to say uh, people from here. And this is a biopic. Um, Richard Williams is from Shreveport, Louisiana. So why not use uh, an American-born actor to play someone who was from in, in America? So I give them credit for that. Now, some people were saying that they feel that um, they could have got someone who looked a little bit more like uh, Richard Williams. And that could definitely be debated. But I am glad that they got someone from here to do it because, as we have seen lately, they have been allowing a lot of these foreign born and British born um, black people to take up all of these damn roles from uh, American born black people, especially when it comes to the biopics. We ain't, gonna, we ain't even going to start with that so called alleged uh, Fred Hampton movie. Uh, let me see. Now, this one right here, pissed. This one, this one uh, person who left this comment, whose name is Wicked Witch, Wicked Witch of the West Coast. I said this is a perfect name for this person. How the fuck did they make these women's legacy centered around their father? It should have meant been mainly about the girls shaking my got shaking my fucking head. Men always hijacking shit. Do you see, and this is a, this is a hyena, y'all. This is a strag that wrote that. And this is, this is a strag that wrote that. And I'm looking at this person's, uh, profile picture. And it looks like they have three boys in the profile picture. And they look like all three of them are her sons. She said it should have been mainly about the girls. Men always hijacking shit. So they basically saying, fuck their dad. Let's just make it all about them. Because, you know, that's the strag way. Fuck men. Fuck the dad. That's that. Like I said, that's the hyena strag way. And to be honest, that's how America has been treating black fathers. I'm glad they're actually making this movie. I would probably actually go see this. 
Because I would like to see a movie told from his point of view. Because they don't give Richard Williams enough credit at all for the uh, pushing of his daughters to get to certain places. Remember, they don't like to highlight black fathers for anything, especially when it comes to them pushing their kids to excel. And what's so sad is you'll probably have some of those kids that will not even look back and even thank their dad. Remember, I did a video talking about how a lot of um, athletes don't be thanking their dads and stuff like that. Now, it is no secret that Richard Williams and Serena kind of have an estranged relationship, especially after she got married to that guy. That's of no surprise. And that's no secret. But still, at the same time, this guy did push his daughters into an arena where there wasn't really any black representation there, especially black women in tennis. It was some there before in the past, but it was so long before they came along and to have two sisters doing it was almost pretty much unheard of and to achieve what they achieved. And he did that. He was their coach before they became mainstream and he was still there. As a matter of fact, despite the estrange, the so-called estranged relationship between the two of them, he still goes to their matches. But the nerve of this person to say, how the fuck did they make this, they make these women's legacy centered around their father? That was so disrespectful. He, he, they wouldn't be there without him. Point blank, period. And one person responded to them and said the father was the reason for them doing tennis and pushing him to be the best. To which this person responded, that doesn't mean the story should be about him. WTF. Serena and Venus are who they are, not just because their father, quote unquote, pushed them. They were talented on their own as well. You're a Joe Jackson kind of mf -er. So now she done brought Joe Jackson into the equation and basically saying Joe Jackson was a bad parent, even though he basically did the same thing for his kids. If it wasn't for Joe Jackson, we would not know who Michael Jackson is. We wouldn't know who Janet Jackson is and all of their siblings. This is a this is a strag right in this y'all. I'm not even making this up. As a matter of fact, what I might do is I might pin the link to this uh, to the picture down in the comments so you can actually go and read the comments for yourself. Just so you, you know, I'm not making any of this up. This uh, the person responded uh, to uh, someone else and said I uh, another person said to blame Hollywood when they originally that's a maggle right there they said I definitely do blame Hollywood if they want to make a lifetime special about this man that's fine so wait a minute lifetime makes films or movies and uh, specials about uh women that's television for women and when they do want to incorporate something about a black man they do it in the most disparaging way i.e surviving R. Kelly they said, but who makes a biopic of the father before they make one of the two most successful female tennis players of all time? Like, that's a violation. Are y'all hearing this right now? This is what somebody is saying. This is another black woman saying this. And like I said, when I clicked on their profile picture, there's three boys in there who I'm assuming are her sons who one day will grow up to be black fathers themselves. I will not be surprised if she was a single mother. Hate to say it. Um, the, the, then the person who was rebutting against her said, wait, their father inspired and pushed them to be better. And that was a great inspiration on their life. They approved. They approved and thought this was a great to honor him. You are full to type. It says you're a, you got to excuse me how some of these people are typing. They says you are a fool to think. The parents who raised them to be the people they are shouldn't have any credit. And Joe Jackson is not comparable to this man. WTF. Then they said the the strag rewrote, um, came back and said they are legends in their own right. And they should have received their biopic first period. Post your little ass opinion elsewhere and not on my shit. Someone said then they replied with little ass opinion because you too soft for a rebuttal. I'll take my uh, little I can't read the rest of that. Like I said, it's uh, I can't really read with some of the stuff that they're saying, but they were going back and forth. But that person who wrote that, that lets you, that's the mindset of many, unfortunately, black women in this establishment who don't like men. They don't like their spouse. They don't like their sons. They don't like their fathers. They don't like anybody 
of the male aesthetic. This person right here was basically willing to shun the person who helped get them to where they are and just be like, apparently Venus and Serena did this all on their own. Now, I wonder if this was the mother, Venus and Serena's mother, who pushed them there. What would they say? They probably like, oh, yes, girl, you better hashtag black girl magic. Because, you know, the sisterhood of failure is always at work. Then, of course, you had some people in there that were saying that they would have preferred to have a darker skinned um, actor to play the uh, role. Um, let me see what else did people say. Uh Someone said they felt like maybe they could have got uh, Samuel Jackson or maybe Denzel Washington. Someone said this is going to be trash. Hire dark people. And they make sure to put the, the word dark in all caps. Let me tell you, all these negative comments I'm reading, and I'm not even really skipping over many because it's not a lot of comments. Like, really, it's probably no more than 20 are all coming from black women. And that's why I said I'm going to leave the link there. That way you can know I'm not lying about this. Because I want y'all to see what they're saying under here. And these are real people from real profiles that are saying this. I'm going to see, I'm, you know, all this negative content, right? Like comments right here. I'm going to actually go and see what can actually come of this. I like to think of myself as being a little bit optimistic. And it's interesting that they're doing this is very different because they like the person said they could have easily came out with a movie about Venus and Serena and just had to be about them. But see, here's the thing. If they made it just about them, something tells me they would have completely shunned the, the, um, their father. So making this movie about him gives him the spotlight because for years, him and his daughters have had the spotlight. We never really heard from the dad outside of maybe some reports i'm gonna be honest the most media coverage we ever heard probably of their dad in recent years was when serena williams got married and he didn't go to the wedding because allegedly he was ill but i'm gonna be real here he wasn't ill and if he was it's because it was ill at the uh, fact that his daughter was marrying that guy but um this is going to be very interesting to see I'm actually a little bit interested now to see what they're going to do with it. And I'm actually glad that they called it King Richard. Like they threw royalty behind his name. Like, yeah, I'm the one who put my daughters out there. I'm the one that pushed them and I'm the one that coached them to get where they are. And in a way, I guess you can say um, Serena and Venus are most likely going to be behind this project and be, um and gave it a stamp of approval. And I guess this is probably their thank you to their dad to let him have his own film and then have one of the biggest um, stars in Hollywood or Holly weird, however you want to put it to portray him. So, and, and it's also good to honor him while he's still here. Cause as you know, Rich, um, Richard Williams is up in age now. So this should be very interesting to see. And I actually saw a cast picture. I wish they had one up on here where the, the girls, the, that they had playing in Venus and Serena, I swear to God, they look just like them when they were younger. Now, when they get to the part when they put the beads in their head, then that's, well, that's, that's what we grew up on right there, seeing them wear the beads in their head. And they started a trend with that. Like, girls back then weren't really wearing beads in their head until Venus and Serena did it. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you have your notifications turned on. Make sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Like I said, I'm going to take the link to this post. And I'm going to post it down in the comment section and pin it so you can actually see for yourself what these individuals were saying. And with that being said, I will talk to you in the next one.